Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Swaroop Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn about Koha cataloging, Koha 22.11, that is slightly upgraded as compared to other versions of Koha. So let's start with this video. Here I'm using Koha 22.11 on Ubuntu 22.04 on a local host, and here we are at cataloging module. So you can see this module is slightly upgraded as compared to other versions of Koha. Now. To start working on a new record, we can have the default framework, we can have the acquisition framework or any other framework that we have import at the time of onboarding tools. I mean, the web installer and onboarding tools. I mean, web installer. So we have actually import all these framework at the time of web installer and default framework is about a long framework. So we have number of tabs here, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have to complete all of them. Instead of using this, we have one framework that is a fast add framework. And it's actually a one pager framework. So there you can perform cataloging. We have add 650 here as a subject in one of the last video. So, okay. <laughs> and we can also use the z39.50 or sru server clients uh, with the same framework like default framework or we can use the fast add framework so let's start with the the z39.50 and there you can put an isbn number or issn number or title or any other thing that you are looking for for example dv number subject headings or whatever so i would search from the Library of Congress and uh, active learning. Only Library of Congress. So here we have results. And for example, this one. And we can search this book through the ISBN only. I mean, if we know about the ISBN, but let it go. So there we can view the mock preview about the book. Or we can have the card view. I mean, the same thing. And we can import this. So, so let me import this one. In the fast add framework. So this is the fast add framework. And where I have import this. As you can see, all fields are available here. Now what you need to do is to check the DV number or LC number, whatever you are using here. For example, you are working with the uh, Library of Congress uh, LC number and you are not working with DV number. So let's remove the DV number or you can have both up to you and this is the isbn number sorry it's issn number isbn number okay the two isbn number the field uh, has repeat okay so here we need to add it save and add it item Now in item need to pro provide the collection if we want to fix this in some collection for example donation fiction non-fiction wherever we want to move this and the shelving location like if you are using shelf number so you can allow shelf numbers journal books new arrivals or whatever but they are not mandatory but you can actually depends on uh, about your library policy and the acquisition date, source of acquisition you can provide from where you have buy this book or the donation cost you can provide the cost not not quoted location qualifier this is something else so cost you can write here and full call number so you need to repeat the call number from the prior record I actually don't go. Oh. 
Okay, let's see in here. Call number here. You can remove this like bar. Barcode number. Let's suppose. How many zero are there? On any barcode number, this is just for example. Oha item type, I would say it's a book. Public note, if you would like to add a public note, so you can provide. Add item, add and duplicate, add multiple copies here. So I would say this is one copy and I will uh, add item. Here. Now we have added this one and uh, you can see the details here. So we have now holding of this item and print the label here. Quite easy. Okay, similar uh, if we don't have internet connection, so we can perform cataloging manually or we can use Z39.50 uh, or SRU client. Let me explain this framework. I mean, the important fields here. We'll see. 0 to 0 is for ISBN, and we will provide ISBN in A. And 0 double 2, I mean, 0 2 2 is for ISSN, and we will provide ISSN in A. And 050 is for Library of Congress classification number. The Library of Congress classification number, the call number, I mean, the main number. And then we have the subdivisions of call number and then item number like the author cutter and the air and dv number a and b and 100 a is for author personal name and 245 a is for title and b is for subtitle c is for statement of responsibility 250 is for addition like a for addition 260 uh, is for imprint area where a is place of publication b name of publisher c date of publication 300 is physical description and we will use a b and also e you can see what you need to fill you can use 500 for note area 650 is for subject or the subject headings a or x 942 is for uh, source of classification Kelvin and when actually we go to save and edit this is one of the part like so the bibliographic record record information in Koha cataloging we have two uh, portions of cataloging one is to catalog record information the next portion is to record the uh, is to catalog the item information so we have discussed the item information already now this is the one cataloging that we have Okay, back to the Koha cataloging and let's see what's next. So here we have performed one cataloging through Z39.50 client that is Library of Congress uh, in fast add framework. You can also use default framework, but you have to know about the mark tags and the fields and subfields and the mark structure. So if you want to learn more about mark structure, so there's a complete video available on my channel. So you can have that video. And this is for to perform cataloging manually. And you, if you are not, if you don't have internet connection, so you can perform cataloging here manually. And uh, stake record for import. This is for batch uploading. So there's no need to go at Koha tools for batch uploading. So you can have the batch uploading from here. And if you want to learn how to create batch of Koha. Uh, from Excel to Mark and what are the important fields and how you actually work on the Mark Edit. There are complete three videos available on mine. You can have all three videos. I will provide the link in the description of this video. And there we have discussed in quite details how you actually uh, normalize the Excel field, uh, Excel sheet, and then how you actually convert that Excel sheet into Mark Record, I mean MRC, and then 
MRK and then how you actually compile that to MRC and now we have one MRC and I'm going to import that MRC into my OHA catalog so let me browse here and uh, I will go at home folder and in home folder document folder so sample mark ref limit. so I will select this and upload this so we can write one some comment here about this file so I will say it's a sample file and we'll use mark format do not look for matching rules matching rules are ISBN number or ISSN number so I will say do not look replace existing record with incoming record okay check for embedded item so we will go with the default if you want to create one profile so you can create profile that's fine but I will go with the stake for import and now let me show you where actually the 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 jobs you can see the performance of job taking few time now it has finished it has 18 records 18 has a stake and there's no error so you can view this batch and we can import this batch into catalog so here we will use default because all the fields will come here and now the job has been Equinted, it will be processed as soon as possible. So, if you want to see where all the jobs, so you can click here and all you can go to see and we can check manage a stake record. So, if there's hmm, see, it has import and now let us see here's the detail of the item another item like a, this is actually the title and here we have the items so this title has four copies so you can actually configure uh, this way you can actually design your excel sheet and you can actually upload on Koha so we have perform one Okay, and you can uh, undo this batch into the catalog if you think you have made some changes or you can use some like a batch item modification or batch record modification. I still want to check this how anyhow, but why it's not working. Okay, now it's true. This process is quite uh, uh, low actually so we have a stake like C two job we have performed and both are finished so if we want to check the uh, if you would like to see the view so 18 records were there and the number of items with the records so I want to check the number of items C 18 records we can view the batch here Here's the batch. 
and uh, I'm sorry I'm taking long so but both mark record and then we have a stake this there you can see yes I want to check this 18 records and 72 items okay now back to cataloging let's just so quickly cover this here so we have a stake record for import and batch uploading and we can export data catalog see sometimes we we take backups i mean more, of course we take backup but to save all records we can actually export data so if in case in somehow our sql data may not match with uh, the newest version so what we need to do we need to keep mock data safe so we can at least upload that data so i would say all mock data this is an alternate way to save your record and you can also export authority record here you can select the item type like books ebooks or what you want and from which date to which date like uh, accession date from where to where or you can remove like don't export this field any field that you want, uh, don't want to export but this is rare actually i would say export and this will actually export the mark mrc file that you can upload in some other option okay we have a video about alternate ways of backup so you can have that video and where i have this i mean discuss this in quite details and the inventory so you can perform inventory so we will talk about inventory in some other video it's a quite long And here we have the batch item modification, batch item deletion, batch record modification, deletion, mark modification template. So let's see this one. And there you can see. Okay, let's take this example. You can write multiple barcodes one by one. Or you can use a number file here, just text file, the barcode numbers. So we are going to modify four items there. Let's suppose we have write the wrong call number. So I want to change the call number with, with the all four items. And similar, you can perform with number of items. There you need to provide the barcode numbers or even you can provide a, 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 a text file barcode number. So there you can multiply. On the shell notification. Let's suppose this uh, author mark author is not correct. So I just change this to 46. Okay, so you can view this job in administration or you can return batch item modification. Let me refresh this. See, it has changed to 46 from 44. Okay. And similar for record modification. So you can change any bibliographic information and you can delete item modification by age. I mean, the year of publication. Label creator. So we have a complete video about label and card creator. So you can have that video we have discussed how you can create the layout, how you can create the template and how you can create the badge and you can print the labels there. And this is something new, barcode image generator. 
and it's quite informative i mean very useful tool code 39 and we have qr code as well so let me write the barcode number just for the example not like this let's say 000 18 and it will generate the barcode and if you want to hide the text i can hide the text as well and uh, qr code you can select any of them just to show you qr code you can generate the qr code alphanumeric as well like so it has created now variety of barcodes available or types okay maybe it's not working. so anyhow and the quick spine label creator is also important tool you need to write the barcode and you can create the spine label See, it has the call number and also the year. You can see this. I can't zoom this right now. Let me try. Hmm, not sure. Anyhow, so this way you can actually create this fine label quickly at the time of cataloging. So you can create. upload local cover image if you don't have a uh, internet connection or you put some some uh, like ISBN number with dashes. So you can actually upload local cover image or if you have some local books. So there you can like drop file here or click to select the file so there you need to provide the image file gift file uh, jpg file png file and you can upload with the uh, image the, uh, the book title so you can upload the cover image and again we have the preferences we have discussed the configuration that we have discussed administration inventory in some other video we'll talk about the inventory and mark modification template so we have talked about the framework how we can modify that so there's right now no template so we can create one anyhow so we have complete the cataloging these are the important things those we have discussed we have talked about how you can add the new catalog new record uh how you actually stake a record for import how you manage and the export record and we have also talked about the batch item modification, batch record modification, and the, and, and the label creator, barcode image generator, and the quick spine label. And of course, the cataloging preferences in one of the last videos. So thank you very much for watching Raflimps. This is Farouk Hussain. And we have a number of videos about Koha cataloging in quite detail. This one is a brief one. So thank you very much for watching Raflimps. This is Farouk Hussain.